Hi, everybody. Welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. I am a former middle and high school language arts teacher, currently an administrator in a middle school, um, helping teachers and parents and students uh, do better with technology. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, I hope this brings value. If it does, I ask that you like and follow and all those things with all the buttons everywhere. Um, the internet is amazing. <laughs> I mean, it is amazing. Um, so posted a video previously and it just kind of shot off like a rocket and uh, had people asking questions. And so we're trying to find some answers for people. Anyway, so we found a new extension to use on Google Meet. It's called Nod for Google Meet. And what this allows uh, participants to do if they have it installed in their Google Chrome as an extension to raise their hand, to clap, to laugh, to smile, um, to heart, you know, a, a comment while being muted. Uh, essentially what it does is it gives you an emoji bar over in the side. Now, why would you want this? Let's talk about the why first. It's one of the things that we like to do here. Um, is it allows you to get participation and instant feedback. Again, if you're using the grid view, which is in a previous video, and you have all 25 of your students that are sitting in a grid view, instead of unmuting all of them and hearing what they have to say, or having one of them raise their hand like this, you can actually just allow them to click on a little emoji that says, oh, I have a question, and they can raise their hand. It has to be installed on their Chrome browser, which is something that your Google admin could do at your district, uh, or you could have students install it on their own if they're a little bit older and they know how to add extensions. So let's get straight to it and look, um, kind of experience what it looks like. It's actually really fun, I mean, to see where this has gone uh, as far as Google Meet two weeks ago. now under horrible circumstances. Um, but again, like the internet rises up when things get difficult. So this got developed just a couple of days ago. This is version two. Um, so here we go. So I am going to close this. Um, so here is a Google Meet uh, window that I'm in and you can see I actually have the ex extension already um, turned on right here. So it's this little thumbs up emoji here. Um, let me actually make this screen a little bit bigger and tilt this back. So I'm actually really close to the screen tonight. So um, where you find it is, um, let me see if I can open my other tab, which is down here. Yep, okay. So this is the other version of me that does not have it installed. And this is what it looks like when it's installed. Over here, there's a little thumbs up. And because I'm using the same browser um, under the same name, when I go into dark mode, it's not there, but let's look for it. So I'm gonna open up a new tab. And we're just gonna go nod Google extension right there. And you'll see it's right there at the top. Uh, six hours ago, it looks like it's when it, when it hit the uh, the extension or the, the Google extension store. So we're gonna click on that and you'll see this beautiful little picture here. I just did a screenshot of. And we're gonna add to Chrome. When we add that to Chrome, we're gonna hit add extension. And you'll see that it pops right up here doesn't take any extra data or any information like that. It's just an extension of Chrome. So we're gonna close that. Now, I have to re um, uh, refresh my browser because it's not showing here. So what I'm going to do is just hit refresh. I'm gonna leave the meeting, join back the meeting, mute myself so we don't get reverb. And what you'll see is you'll see this little guy right over here. Now, when I hover over this, again, if you wanna see grid view, we can do grid view. Um, there's only two of us in the meeting. And so grid view is not gonna be super helpful right now. We'll put it there um, so you can see it. But when I hover over the little emoji, um, what you'll see is on my other screen, it's showing that I am adding comments, right? So there's, I'm laughing, I'm clapping. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 I have a question. I have a question. I have a question, Mr. Campbell or Mrs. Whoever or Mr. Whoever. And so I raise my hand and it shows up on that screen. Now, does everybody have access to the emojis? Only if they install, the ex it install this extension. And so let me just show you what it looks like if we're both doing things at the same time. So over here, I'm adding thumbs up. And over here, I'm adding a smiley face. So I could go back and forth. Let's see if I can go back and forth fast enough that you can see. Yeah, so you can see that all the people that have the extension, I'm gonna close one of these windows now because it's just kind of crazy. Um, all the people that have the extension can go through any of these five buttons. So there's the thumbs up button right here. 
There's the heart emoji. There's the hmm emoji. There's the oh my gosh, I can't believe that's so funny emoji. There's the you know clapping emoji, and then there's the I have a question. So if you are facilitating a Google Meet using Grid View, and obviously I couldn't get, I don't want to have like ten versions of myself like I did in the previous video. Um, but if you have 25 students and they all have this installed on their Chrome browser, at least for the remainder of the school year for the time being, now teachers are starting to think about, oh, I could do something like this during a traditional school year. Obviously not every day, that's overkill, but I could do some of these small things over the weekend or you know, during um, you know, maybe some study hours at nighttime or different things like that. But all of the students can kind of, you can get a quick pull of where everybody's at. Hey, does everybody understand what I'm saying? Give me the clapping hands. And then you can see all 25 students with clapping hands, right? Um, and obviously you're gonna get a ton of emojis right down the left side of your screen, but it's a quick way to have everybody muted or in silent mode, right? Or in quiet mode or in you know instruction mode or whatever you wanna call it. Um, and you can get feedback straight from people that you are presenting to or presenting with. Um, we are going to try and do this for our um, impromptu faculty meeting that we kind of have not every morning, but where we just have a, an opus, open office admin hours from eight to nine. Um, so if teachers have questions and there's other people there that they can um, uh, raise their hand and ask questions. Again, in summary, this is the Google Nod extension for Google Chrome. It looks like this, it has been just developed in the past couple of weeks. And I imagine that there will be more and more um, extensions for Google Meet as we get into this new world that we're living in right now with, with at-home school and stuff like that. Again, thank you for what you do um, in education, whether it's homeschool, private school, public school, charter school, um, what you do matters. Um, I have kids in public education and their lives are changed. I love you. I appreciate you. And thank you for stopping by.